Hello everybody, welcome to another my paint software video tutorial. In this case I'm going to show you just how to use my press package that is inside my paint. There are a lot of brushes inside this package and can be maybe uh, confusing if you are not uh, familiar with uh, painting stuff. So I think this uh, will be a pretty fun tutorial because it's not really a complicated video tutorial. You just only have to to see and learn. Um, I think it is a pretty good idea to make a video tutorial about the brushes. But there is no uh, too much information on on the internet uh, and also on video tutorials. Uh, talking about my paint and why and that is because my paint it's a really young software but very powerful also so let's take a look um, and see what's happened hope you enjoy um, let's get started the first thing that I'm going to do is just to open a photo from my brother's album it is a photo from Austria I think I'm going to explain how the brushes work just copying this photo so thanks David I dedicate this video tutorial to you start selecting the pencils sketch one and we can see this is some different from uh, usual brushes okay as we are applying pressure the brush it doesn't increase its size and that's just a bit worth, but it's very natural way, because uh, with pencils, if we apply a low pressure, we get uh, some type of heated brush or brush stroke, and if we apply more pressure to the pencil, we get something like this, okay? So a straight line with more opacity and not so heated by the uh, grain of the paper. How we, we can control this this effect, it's, it's really easy. It's only by uh, going to the brush settings, a uh, <laughs> lot of settings, I know. But uh, we are talking about the heatering which is controlled by a ramp. Okay, so this ramp it's uh, making that the heater is only applied with the low pressure just taking the minus 2 value as uh, a reference for pressure okay but we talk about this uh, later and as you see uh, I'm not worried for about uh, seamless or, or because it is only a practice but it is a practice to show how to use the tool. So for sketching lines, we apply big pressure just in the very start of the brush stroke. And then we are applying low pressure to shading at the same time we are sketching. That's a pretty cool. Okay, so we can sketch and we can also shade in. And that's, that's a pretty good thing. Maybe more tablets. So if I make a, mis uh, a mistake here, I can use the erasing tool, which is very hard. And we can use also the soft eraser. Soft eraser is maybe just better in this case and then we can erase this with a hard eraser okay so continue sketching and as you see we can continue sketching just adding more detail detail here and there and we can zoom in out we can zoom in to see better the effect but uh, here is a place where shading uh, 
manually it can be uh, just a bit uh, difficult or boring so we can use the pencil speed shade brush which is specially designed to get a nice uh, shading looking okay so we can shade using this tool and you see the difference okay so we are shading and this part so and that's for a sketching if we select uh, the sketch 2 you can see that it has uh, more opacity and this is just a hard variant of the sketch 1 okay you, you can see the difference so this is a sketch 1 applying pressure and this is the sketch 2 applying pressure okay so it is slightly different and the effect that produces and then we have the 2B pencil can be used to in combination with color the brown color to make just like a sepia sketch or stuff like that okay so we can start to copy we have very nice sketching tools also we have uh, where things just like the pencil blue pencil plus ink which it produce uh, let's take a look with blue it produce a nice effect which is uh, shading and we apply pressure and the tool is converting into ink tool it's nice if we want to make a blue line pencil sketching and we also want to make uh, ink work okay applying low pressure big pressure converts to ink that is for the sketching process I think this is uh, enough for a presentation of the package there is a lot of things that we can tweak in these brushes but uh, we have to cover more process so let's continue with the ink tools like this one for example mm -hmm.